Hello, I'm Stephen Mayu, and you're watching thebestjs.com. Okay, in the last video, we talked about the extends keyword as well as the super method. And we can use both of these to inherit the properties and methods from another class. So that way, we can keep our, clo co our code very dry so that we don't repeat ourselves. In this video, we're going to talk about getter methods. So uh, I'm going to go ahead, open up my new file, and just uh, copy and paste everything from the previous video. All right, so I'm going to add another method in here in my worker class. Let me just uh, give us some breathing room right here. And this is going to be called biography. So biography, okay. We invoke it with no functions. And let's create a variable, const bio, short for biography. And uh, we're going to write a string template. And this will be this dot full name is a this. Oops, I forgot to put this part. Is a this dot job. And then we'll just make it all uppercase to uppercase. All right, just like that. And we will return the bio. All right, that looks good. I'm going to copy this over to my browser. All right, that's looking good. So let's create a new worker, cons worker one. So new worker, Steven, Mayu, and software developer. All right, so this is looking good. So worker one, and let's call the biography method. Is that what I called it? Biography, yes. So in order to get that string, well, it is a method, so I have to invoke it. And I have to use the uh, pair of parentheses to invoke it. Okay, and sure enough, it works. Steven Mayu is a software developer. Now, what if, what if I wanted to uh, not invoke it? In other words, what if I just wanted to, I don't know, uh, just do it like this and treat it like a property instead? Well, uh, it would work. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't get any errors, but I wouldn't get the, um, the I wouldn't get, you know, the uh, expected output that I would want. Uh, you know, I just get a copy of the function. Well, this is possible. Okay, we can we can basically convert our methods into something like a property. Okay, and this is called a get method, and it's very easy to do. You just put the get keyword in front of it, and so now this method kind of behaves like a property now. So let's refresh the page and let's copy and paste this new code in here. Okay, and Command K to get rid of that. Cons worker. So I'm going to say worker one dot biography. And so now you see right here, I didn't invoke it. I just uh, got rid of the parentheses. It just looks like a regular property and now it works which is pretty darn cool so the get keyword basically makes a method behave like a property and so that's what I did before I used the get keyword I had to use my parentheses like this in order to invoke it but once I added the get keyword that was no longer necessary and it just kind of behaves like a property so a couple of videos ago, when we were talking about static methods, okay, I told you that a static method, um, that, that it was available right now, but static properties were, were not available for, for classes unless you used a Babel plugin because static properties have not been officially adopted into ES6. It's one of those stage zero or stage one features that are still undergoing consideration. Well, you can do the same thing for a static method as well. You can combine static and the get keyword together. So uh, you might remember we have worker and species. Okay, there we go. And th this will also work for person, okay, because we extend it from person 
and it borrows all of the same static methods, instance methods, and properties. But now I can use a git method, like right here. Okay, save that. Okay, we'll refresh, we'll paste it. So now we just made this into a static git method. Okay, so now let's say person dot species homo sapiens and we can even do the same thing right here species homo sapiens and before you recall that was a method so we had to invoke it but this is one way to kind of get around that okay now it's still it's still technically a method it's still a function but we don't have to invoke it with a pair of parentheses and it kind of looks and behaves as a property which is a nice little feature. Alrighty, so I'm gonna get rid of the uh, git keyword right here. But I'm gonna keep the git keyword down over here. Alrighty, so we have one more video in this series. We've done quite a lot of work, and you might guess that if we did getters, git methods in this video, that the next video is gonna be setters. Did you guess it? Well, you're right. In the next and final video of this course, we're going to talk about setter methods. And they're really cool. I can't wait to show you. So let's take a break. And in the next video, I'll show you the final piece of information that you need to know in order to really understand JavaScript classes. Okay, see you in the next video. Goodbye.